Hey, my children. Oh, yes, it's me. Dr. Groovy, Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Ah, oh, it's Reverend Day again. Here's my old, my first Ron Ashton model. Ta-da! Which I put the roller bridge and my snake stopper back there. Um, all, every single Reverend instrument is made of uh, Karina, which makes absolutely zero difference. They're one of those companies that will tell you that it makes all the difference in the world when we've proven so many times that it doesn't make squat. But anyway, <laughs> got a black one now. So this one just came in. Um, output jack is in a stupid place. It really needs to be on the back or up here. Um, the thing about this is the P90s. They call them CP90s or three, C3POs or whatever. Anyway, it's a typical Gibson style thing and the fact that um, it's a flying V with a slightly different headstock. The new headstock that they have out is sickening. Um, the only color they offer this in, in uh, at all anymore is the orange. If you guys see a white one that is perfect, let me know. It's the only colors they ever came in was black, white, and orange. But uh, three knobs, volume, tone, and a bass contour knob. These guitars are all about the bass, um, yeah, the bass contour knob and the P90s. Um, everything else I could do without. Um, I, like the, I like the fact that there are um, locking tuners and that the headstock does not tilt back even though it's, you know, going to go out of tune some because it's like that. You know, they're not straight string pulls so that kind of blows the dog. Plus there's a thick finish on the back. Uh, of the neck, so it's going to be a slow playing guitar. Um, so there you go, that's what it is. Typical, I'll replace this and this as soon as I possibly can, which will be tomorrow because I don't play junk like that. A uh, five way switch operates just like a strat. The main thing is, is the um, bass contour thing. If you have ever played P90s, you know, they are a thicker single coil. They're you know exactly what a P90 sounds like. It's um, they all sound like a P90, you know, but some different than others. What this actually does is, if you have it wide open, everything sounds like a typical P90 would, like you would expect it to. Um, at least they um, kind of weirded it out and brought this P90 this way instead of closer to the bridge, like most would be. Um, but anyway, so good thick P90s for your blues stuff or whatever, but if you take it and turn it all the way down on the bass contour, it changes them to sound, I mean, you can't tell the difference between, um, like Strat pickups and these. It just reconfigures, uh, the bass contour <laughs> and they sound just like quacky old Strat pickups. And then if you just need to thicken them up a little bit because they're just too thin for you or you're, you know, playing blues or a little get something with a little more gain, you want to drive it a little, your amp a little harder, um, you can go right in between and you'll it'll start um, sounding less like a Strat and then, but it'll still have that flavor. And then go right into P90 mode and just stop where you want to or go full P90. So it's got that for you. Um, typical sounds, I'll just do very little of each. Um, Johnson Millennium, no compression, plenty of reverb, everything dimed, so full P90s, position one, two, three, this all the way, the bass contour, one, now the two will sound like a strat, three is just the middle, four another strat,
difference, kids. And five. Okay, so um, the thing that it's all about, two position strat. And now start bringing in the P90 a bit with it. Now we're back into full P90. So definite difference. Okay, so um, that's it for the guitar. Um, it does have the thing in the middle, just like the Gibson Firebirds, where it's like a one piece ran through it. Um, you'll see right here, and same on the other side, but then there's this goofy little stupid piece of plastic on here that doesn't need to be there um and that's about it set neck which from we've all found out is the least sustaining neck that can be done bulldogs are the most sustaining and on and on we've been through it uh, people will still say bullshit but you guys get out of here i've already been through it all um anyway uh, you can see the contour here. So it's kind of like a Firebird um, in this respect, even though it's not a neck through or anything. Again, just a glue gasket underneath that. So great sounding guitars, and that's about it. They look, well, they look great too. Um, let's see what kind of time I'm looking at. Don't want to take you or keep it here forever. Um, no, I'm not playing distorted because you already heard the guitar. <laughs> you don't need to hear my distortion. That's not what I'm reviewing. Okay, so the specs are, um, of course, everything's Karina. The uh, neck is three-piece Karina, if it matters to you. Again, the whatever wood it's made out of, the neck, the fingerboard, the body, none of it has any effect on the tone at all. Um, again, if you're going to say anything about that, please just get out. I don't want to take the time to block you. Uh, Rosewood fingerboard, 12 inch radius. Um, yeah, CP90 pickups. Um, I don't know what the outputs are, but for anybody who ever, um, ever even considers pickups, um, actually the... <laughs> Best way to go about these things, if you ever want to be serious about guitar, is to have all your pickups have the same output. You know, not a big, huge, hard, crunching thing in the bridge, and then whatever. You do what you want, but the best sounding guitars all around will have, you know, two or three. In my case, three of the exact same pickups, exactly the same in each position. Uh, what a beautiful... Um, difference it makes when everything matches. Um, it's not a deal about a certain pickup in a certain spot, it's about the output of the pickup in each spot. So if you keep everything exactly the same, it makes your guitar, it's it's night and day. Uh, consider it, please. <laughs> I don't, I don't steer you wrong. Um, who cares? It's dual truss rod, action says it can make it the neck hump this way or that way. Well, so can any other truss rod in the world. Um, and their list price, 1079 which means I got it for about the right price. Okay, it says it has a graphite nut. Uh, impregnated, a graphite impregnated <laughs> nut. <laughs> um, wow, okay, it's impregnated. Remember when uh, PV used to do Kevlar, you know, bulletproof vest stuff, impregnated speakers. And then now they don't do them anymore because they figured they would be indestructible and stop bullets. You know, so they did that. <laughs> Check it out. Um, see, what do they have to say? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the Reverend collaborated with proto-punk guitar legend Ron Ashton, blah, 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 blah based on the popular volcano model, which means we ripped off a flying V, one side slightly shorter than the other. Um, the pickups uh, 
Oh yeah, here it is based on her blah blah blah. And Karina body for a raw yet fat tune with a percussive attack attack on it. <laughs> It'd be the same if it was made out of basswood or birch or oak or pine. <laughs> Makes no difference. The perfect guitar for edgy rock tones, but also versatile and versatile enough for about any situation. Um, I can give it that. Um, unique features include the lightning bolt logo. Wow, you can't even see it if you're playing it. Um, you, <laughs> there you go. It's that. It, you know, somebody might think you got some whipped cream on your guitar or something during the break. Um, not especially beautiful. Um, that's about it. <laughs> um, oh, again, about the Karina body, a.k.a. Uh, White Limba is a medium lightweight wood, highly prized for consistency and tonal qualities. Often found in boutique and vintage instruments, all reverend guitars feature Karina bodies, a highly resonant wood. Karina is a key factor to producing our lively, responsive instruments that are rich in harmonics. Uh, reverend, you're full of shit. <laughs> and I have called Reverend... And um, I'm just trying to find, I like a lot of their guitars, but, you know, they're way too anal about all these uh, sticking a bunch of bullshit stories up your ass to try to sell stuff. Um, snake oil salesman again. And they were pretty rude on the phone. Um, I told them, said, I like a lot of your guitars, but I really, number one, I hate pick guards, you know, which is fine. Everybody can have whatever they want. But I said, there's, a, there's about seven or eight models I'd love to have. Just if uh, if I have to have a pick guard on the damn thing, um, can you please not make it um, that damn t tortoise shell thing? And that's what they put on about 80% of their guitars is that tortoise shell pick guard crap. It's just ugly against everything. At least these are just black. And everything else on theirs is as gross as I... Per these are all my uh, personal things. Um, is this... I am, nothing is more boring in the world than a sunburst strat with a white pit guard. White pit guards suck balls. <laughs> so I said, can I order just pit guards so I can change the pit guards? Do you have any pit guards that are just black that I, so I can order some guitars? Or, look, that's a strat. Looks tons better. No pit guards. But I asked him, said, do you have black pit guards around for the other models? You know, because you can get any color you want for Fender guitars, blah, blah, blah. And I realize that Reverend isn't as known. But um, they're like, no, if you don't like them the way they are, uh, don't buy them. So, fuck you guys again for that. Um, but I do like the sound of the guitars, despite the way they're built. And despite the rudeness of uh, the employees over there. Or the one employee, I can't say... That they all suck ass, but uh, yeah, snake oil salesman bullshit uh, as their main deal going on, and the, the wood thing, you know, it's all bullshit. And then the rude ass one person that I did talk to, I did email another one, never got a response. So um, that's about it. So um, love the way they sound. Again, they're slow because of the. Sticky finishes that they won't change, but that is it, folks. I again, I will play the guitars because they sound great, and I will play them proudly, not because of the name on the front, but because they are versatile, strictly because of one knob. Everything else, I will be changing. You know, the pickups I'll leave, but. New bridge, new everything else has to go because it's horrible. And um, that's about it. You know, it's my personal assessment at the end and um, personal experience with their uh, one member of their team anyway. And the fact they said absolutely not with the pit guards. They, you know, go have your own mate or whatever. It's like, um, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Once again, Dr. Groovy. Uh, GroovyMusicLessons.com You guys ever need to take uh, some Skype lessons, hit me up. Uh, a couple spots left. Alright? Later, kids. Bye.